What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys, we're back with some Payday 3, Rock the Cradle, Solo, Stealth, No Mask and we're doing it on normal mode. For the skills, basically you don't need anything. I use two skills over here. The first of the Escapist, so the first uh, skill in the skill tree of Escapist. And then also the first okay. of Infiltrator. But basically these two, they don't really do anything. If you have the second hacker skill, it will be useful, Welcome so this the is the angle. one where you can loop cameras, but to be honest I did it without and it's also perfectly fine. So for this mission we're robbing a nightclub, we want Nobody to get a crypto a wallet and then there's also a vault, but the crypto wallet is the main thing and for this we first need to get in the VIP area of the club. So lockpick this door over here, then you can go upstairs. And the first thing that we're going to do is go to Rifkin's office or Cassandra Rifkin's office because over there, there are some blank VIP tickets that we can use to get in the VIP area. Pretty simple, I would say, just some cameras. Also, you have to uh, lockpick two doors. Just make sure that no one sees you. When you get in the office, there will be two things. First of all, a cage where you have the VIP tickets. For this, you will need a QR code. We will get that in a bit. And then there is also the PC that you can hack. Now, if you're doing this the first time, I will recommend this because this PC, uh, you can read some messages on it. And two important things. First of all, for the crypto wallet, in order to open it in the IT room, you will need the accountant. Uh, there is another way to do it. I'm going to show you guys. So we're going to do it without the accountant. And then also for the vault key code, you can find it in the um, accountant's office. So this is a pretty important tip. I'm also going to show you guys how to do this. But first thing is getting the QR code so that we can open the cage and we can get the VIP tickets. So for this, um, you will just have to find Rifkins. Normally, she will just be uh, marked so you can see that she has like a yellow outline. She has different routes that she can walk. Some are kind of annoying because she walks in private areas. Others are easier because she's just in a public area. But for most of them, she always goes through a public area. So through the nightclub as well. So just get behind her, um, start hacking, and then you have to stay within a radius of her for a certain amount of time. I'm not sure if there is a skill that maybe makes this faster, but uh, to be honest, it's not that difficult. I'm so sorry. even if she is in the private areas, all you have to do is just watch out for the cameras. Most of the time she stands still as well if she is in the private areas to get like a drink or something. Nice. So this part is definitely not that difficult. When you hack her phone, you will have the QR code. So then you have to go back to her office. So back upstairs. And then when you're there, you can open the cage, you can get a blank VIP ticket and then there is also a painting that you can already steal as well. So the blank VIP tickets, we cannot use them yet to get in the VIP room because we first have to get them validated or something like that. But for this, we have to find a machine that validates the tickets. Couple of possible locations where you can find this. The first location I'm gonna show you is the easiest I would say if you have this you are kind of lucky but it's basically in this office over here so in this hallway you just have some cameras be careful for it and then you will have to lockpick this door but for the rest it's easy the second location I will show you guys you will see why it's not that easy but basically in this office there is a camera and on this desk if there is a PC then it has to be here if there is no PC then it's the other location it could also be somewhere in the storage areas, but I've played this mission, I think, almost 10 times every time a different um, yeah, setup, let's say it like that. And I've never had another location than these two. So it's either that office over here or it's upstairs above uh, basically the club area. This is a private area. And the annoying thing is that you have two cameras, which basically both watch the table where the validation machine and the PC is that we need. And on top of that, there is also a guard that patrols here. But the good thing is this guard uh, sometimes goes downstairs. So then it's kind of easier. So you can see that on the other side, there is a camera over here. There is a camera. And the thing that we need is basically in the middle of these two cameras. So how you want to do it first, wait until the guard is gone. And then what you can do is get behind this bar over here. So both cameras cannot see you. By the way, if you have a different camera configuration that I maybe didn't have yet, 
I'm pretty sure it will be easier. But as far as I know, when the scanner is over here, the cameras are always like this. But it could be different as well. Then what you want to do is go to this corner over here and wait for the camera on the other side to turn. Then, yeah, it's kind of a struggle. But if you then go to the PC, normally it should be fine. So first interact with the scanner, then interact with the PC. Then I left. Also the guard arrived, so I just waited until the guard left again. And also the main reason why I left is because the cameras turn, of course. So you cannot stay there for too long. Then you just wait and repeat. So again, start under this camera, crouch, walk by this wall until this corner. Then wait for the camera on the opposite side to turn to the right. Then start moving, make sure you're crouched, interact with the PC, take the VIP card and you're done. So like you guys can see, it's pretty intense with the cameras and also the guards. So if you have the office, it's much easier. But what you have to do with the system is just first put the VIP card on the scanner, interact with the PC, wait, interact with the PC again and take the VIP card. So this is kind of the first part of this mission because now we, we can finally invitation. enter the VIP okay. area. Before you do so, also make sure that you grab the blue key cards that this guard has. Now, if he doesn't have it, maybe the guard on the right side has it. If both of them don't have it, it could be that one of the guards just patrolling around will also carry it. So maybe then you have to look for it. But for me, it was always this bodyguard. So then we're in the VIP area. First thing that we can do is the painting that we stole in Rifkin's office. We can drop it over here. So this is the location where we will drop everything that we will find. By the way, in this nightclub, you will also find some drugs that you can also steal and some cash. So all of that, you can drop it over there. Then first thing we're going to do is go to the accountant's office all the way in the back on the left side. You have to pick the door. Of course, make sure that no one sees you. Go upstairs, then there will be a camera somewhere over here in this hallway. Make sure it doesn't see you. Lockpick the door on the right so you can go to the accountant's office. And then in this office, there is a couple of things. So first of all, you will have a safe. You can crack the safe inside. Sometimes there is some money, but always there will be a code, which is one of the possible codes that we can use for the vault. So when you open it, make sure to write it down because if I'm not mistaken, you can find three possible codes in this office and one of them you can use for default. Then in this storage room over here, you can find some cash, you can find some drugs in the crate that I opened over here. It was empty and also a second possible code for the vault. The third possible code, I didn't show it here yet, I think, but I will show it later when we come back to this office. It's on the chair behind the desk, but I'm going to show you guys. But first, the main thing that we're looking for, the crypto wallet. So for this, we need to go to the IT room. The first possible location where it could be is very easy. Just open this ventilation cover when you exit the accountant's office. And then it's basically here. Now, like I said earlier, for the crypto wallet, you will need the accountant. But there is a way around it. You can reset the system by turning off the electricity switch. And then you can do it without him. So for this, on this whiteboard, you can see which switch it is. So A400 green, or for you, it will be something else probably. But remember what's on the whiteboard. Like I said, there is two possible locations for the IT room. So if this room over here is not the IT room, then it's basically just the camera room or the security room with the guy watching the cameras like we saw before in uh, No Rest for the Wicked and then also Dirty Ice. For this one, I didn't take him out and it's not necessary. If you exit over here, there's a camera. There's also a crate where you can find some additional drugs. You can steal it. Uh, right now I left it. I don't know for sure if I pick it up later. But the second possible location for the IT room is just uh, on the other side over here. So this door on the right. It could be that there is a guy next to it. Now, if this is the case, it will be very hard to lockpick this door. So what you then have to do is just distract them. But let me first show you. So inside there is a door on the right. Now it's a blue key card. So this is the security room. If this is the IT room, you will need the red key card that we found in the um, accountant's office. So that's also the reason why you have to go to the accountant's office first, just in case that the IT room is in this location. So just to show you guys over here, there is a small box. I don't know what it is exactly, but you can use it to lure away the guard that is standing next to the door if he's there, of course. So this guy over here, if he's standing next to the door, you can just lure him away and then you can pick the lock. 
Next step will be to cut the power to the IT room so that we can get the crypto wallet. Before I did so, there was some cash that I was carrying and also some drugs that I left behind. I went to get those and I also secured them. You can do this if you want, it's not really necessary, it's optional. Then go upstairs to this room over here. So this is the way that we entered the VIP area. Use your blue key card to open this door and then find the right switch box. Mine was A400 green like we found okay. on the whiteboard the in the IT room. So that's the reason why I said you had to remember this. After turning off the switch, we go to the accountant's office because we have to use his PC to reset the biometric scanner. So we went there already, like I said, it's all the way in the back and then on the left. Be careful again for uh, the camera. Over here, I also accidentally alerted a guard. He thought he heard something. It was probably because I was running. So maybe don't run too much. When you're in the office, access the PC. If you want, check the codes again. By the way, the third one is over here on the chair. So make sure you write them down because we will use them after we get the crypto wallet. And then after the hacking is done, you will open the door in the IT room and then you can just access the wallet. So the pretty easy, I would say. Open. This is the main Get part of this mission, the getting wallet. the crypto wallet. The other things are just optional. Also, maybe interesting to mention is, like you guys probably know, if you trigger the alarm in this mission, the crypto wallet is just wiped and then you cannot get it. So that's the reason why it's so important to do this mission stealth. So when we're back in the IT room, the door will be open. I wasn't sure what the crypto wallet was exactly, but it's this thing over here. Uh, I think in real life they're usually the smaller, but maybe because there is a lot of money on it, it's larger. Although, I think we stole like 300k in the end, that's not too much. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so it was that thing over there. Then we can go ahead and secure it, so throw it over, this, um, yeah, over these boxes, and then you could escape if you want. But of course we're not going to do that, we're also going to get the vault, because in the vault there's also some cash. For the vault location, it will be on the right side. If you go to the door all the way in the back, it will be open. This is a poker room. Sometimes the accountant is sitting here and playing poker. If that's the case, you will have to lockpick one of the doors on the right side, and that's also fine. On the left over here, so if you open the double doors, you can find a crate, and then also you can find the elevator doors. Now, I'm not pretty sure how you're supposed to use this, so if someone can tell me in the comments, uh, please do, because I'm really curious on how you can use this uh, in a stealth mission, maybe where you equip your mask. In this room over here, just wait for the camera to turn the other side, and then across the hall you can find the vault. This door on the right that I just unlocked, if you lockpick this door, of course, you can access the vault faster, but then uh, it could be that the guard spots you. In principle, it's still possible though, it's uh, of course your choice, but if you do it like me, it's kind of more easy. For the vault code, you have to use one of the codes that we found in the accountant's office. You can see on the keypad which numbers are pressed a lot. And then based on this, you can figure out which one of the three is the correct one. From this point on, it's very easy. Just take out all of the cash out of the vault, bring it to the drop-off location, and then you're pretty much done. Also, if you had some uh, cash that you found somewhere else, if you had some drugs that you found, also gather all of it bring it to the drop-off location and then you're ready to escape. Hey, watch it. I think the most important part in this mission was the crypto wallet. Well, it is the most important part. And the hardest part was, in my opinion, the beginning, just getting in this VIP area, especially with the um, validation system that was in a very annoying location. But for the rest, when you get in the VIP area, to be honest, it's pretty simple. But I'm looking forward to also doing this mission in Overkill. And also, I'm planning to do a video where I do this mission with my mask on and then uh, I'm planning to use the ventilation shafts because that also seems really fun to use those in stealth. When you're done, just go to this room over here. You can open it with your blue key card, and then you're finished. That was it guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have other tips that you can use or other tricks that you can use in this mission. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord in the description and peace out you guys.